Hi, my name is Dr. Matt Brown, and I'd like to give you a quick summary of why I think multi-vector active spine traction is the most effective protocol for treating lower back pain. So what is the problem? The problem is typically caused by a disc problem, the fascia being adhesed or inflamed, the disc being inflamed, degenerative changes in the, in the facet joint and the end plate of the vertebra, uh, muscle adhesions, ligamentous tears. Sometimes there's a hypermobility, something that's moving too much. Sometimes it's a hypomobility, something that's not moving enough. Sometimes it is a structural weakness of the disc allowing the vertebrae to shift in, in its alignment. So, the fit that I'm going to describe is multi-vector active spine traction. It works better than anything that I've found and essentially no matter what the condition is, everybody with chronic lower back pain should have a proper medical workup, a case history, a proper physical examination, neurological examination, and an assessment to clinically diagnose what's going on. You need to get a good clinical diagnosis first. This technique is not for contraindicated conditions. That means there are certain things about 3% to 5% of the people of the population should not be doing this. Those are conditions that involve spinal pathology, spinal instability, obviously spinal tumors, any type of deep pathology, any type of syndesmophyte or uh, extreme osteophyte with sharp edges of the osteophytes sticking out along the edge of the vertebrae or the end plate. Any type of spinal instability such as advanced osteoporosis um, or any type of pathology in the abdominal area that could hurt or injure the abdominal aorta. So my fix that I have found to be more effective than anything, than anything I've ever done, is multi-vector active spine traction. Now historically, I have found that a combination of chiropractic hands-on manipulation, active therapy and strengthening, flexion distraction therapy, yoga, stretches, therapeutic massage, anti-inflammatory techniques, cold laser, exercise balls, foam rollers, all of these are wonderful tools in the toolbox. But I found that while still using all those tools, if we could have a more effective tool that allows all the other tools to work even better, something that clamps down, something that gets into what I call the sweet spot of the spine, something that works much faster, that's what I would call the holy grail of treatment for lower back pain, something that's safe. A lot of options people consider include opioids, over-the-counter anti-inflammatories, surgery. Sometimes those things are needed. But I wanted a technique that was non-surgical and non-drug. I'm going to use a couple of analogies to explain what I'm talking about. A corkscrew that you used to open a wine bottle back in the day was just that. It was just a helical corkscrew. And what you would do is you would take the corkscrew and you would just screw it down into the cork of the wine bottle. Then you would proceed to put the wine bottle between your legs and you would pull and pull as hard as you could. And then sometimes when the cork would pop, it would go like this and you would hit somebody in the face or break a window. And then somebody came along and made a simple innovative improvement on the old fashioned corkscrew and said, what if we added a couple of levers or a, one lever or two levers to pop that cork out. That was a simple innovative change that produced a, an order of magnitude change in the functionality of that simple tool. Okay, let me give you one more analogy. It would be a Phillips head screwdriver. Back in the day, before a Phillips head screwdriver, all they had were just a single slotted screwdriver. And sometimes, most of the time, those would slip. They didn't work very well. And then probably a guy named Phillips came along and said, wait a minute, what if we 
put a slot like this into the screw and we'll call it the Phillips head screwdriver. Boom, overnight, order of magnitude, slight innovative change, complete exponential improvement over the functionality of that simple tool. That's what I found with multi-vector active spine traction. Why do I think it's the most effective protocol that all of these other techniques now take a back seat? They are all now adjunctive options to strengthen that take a back seat to multi-vector active spine traction because it checks all the boxes, in my opinion. All the most important boxes are checked. When you use active therapies, when you use therapeutic massage, those will support somebody getting better and they will help you stay better. You can use simple tools like an exercise ball, a foam roller. You can use yoga and all of these are wonderful, but if somebody has chronic persistent lower back pain and none of the simple methods are working, multi-vector active spine traction is the most effective tool that I have found. It does check all the boxes. It's the fastest and the shortest path to pain relief. So we do have relative contraindications and we have absolute contraindications. That's why your clinician, your licensed clinician, your doctor of chiropractic, your physical therapist, your medical doctor, your osteopathic doctor, whoever is doing the medical workup needs to be able to, to ascertain and determine whether this type of therapy is appropriate for you. It's cost effective, it's simple, it's safe, and it works. This is Dr. Matt Brown. Thanks for your time and have a great day.